Welcome to your bi-weekly collective love reading. Happy December. Happy holidays. Um, all right, let's see what Spirit wants me to do for you guys at this time. Hustle. I just got the word hustle. Okay, so let's look at the feminine's energy first. Um, and if that resonates for you, then... The masculine energy will also, for your counterpart, perhaps your dark man. <laughs> Dealings or relationship with a, with a man with dark complexion or hair. Hmm. What's up with that? Stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Get rid of that. Malware, man. Isn't that the worst? Constantly popping up. Gosh. Uh, um, all right. Where are the feminines at this week? Perhaps they do have a new beginning with a, with a dark man. And it could be dark in, um, in that they've been in a dark place. They consider them having been in a dark place as well but they've got a new start. Somebody's feeling giddy and excited like a teenager. Somebody's feeling, um, they, okay. I just felt a feminine say something to the effect of finally my, I'm getting my reward. I'm reaping my harvest. I'm reaping what I've sown. So, Okay. Where else are the feminines coming from this week, please? Plenty of material things. Whoa, check this out. Dealings or relationship with a man, a dark man. Look at, they look alike. <laughs> or maybe you have two guys that, that you're dealing with here and it's, yeah, it's a burden. Uh-oh, you need to cut somebody out and do the right thing, have justice in this situation. Okay, they're like, they're like, they're like, make sure that you make the scales balanced. Make sure you make the scales balanced before you make the comparison. <clears throat> okay. There's also a warning here of an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. What do you guys mean by that? Oh. You need to defend yourself against a rooster. Maybe one of these guys is the rooster. You need to defend yourself, an arrogant, boastful person. You shouldn't cross. So, okay. Fear, worries, intense situations. All right. Uh, we're going to do some protection for you guys this week. <laughs> All right. Let me just find out more information about that. Okay. They said, fear nothing, fear nothing, fear no, no one. Um, either you are, either you are, either you are committed to God or love, or you're committed to the dark side or fear. You can't serve both masters, right? So if you're worried, guess which side you're serving. So they're saying, be completely confident. Have one hundred percent faith. Oh, look at that. I looked down at their spiritual guidance protection from harm. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so you're, yeah, it's going to be a temporary situation. It's just temporary. Um, as this is going to be different for everybody, obviously. Okay, so we'll, so, all right. Okay, so feminines have their mind on somebody. Feminines, obviously, <laughs> or you wouldn't be watching my channel. Um, so you've got your mind on somebody and you're wanting to turn that wheel of fortune already. You're wanting to see what fate brings. You're wanting to 
you feel like something is faded with someone and you're wanting to spin the wheel and just see what you get. It's just like, I want, I'm ready for the big reveal already. I am ready for, to pull the mask off and find out who my person is almost like, like, um, yeah, it just feels like a big reveal or a big unveiling or something like that. But it's, it's going to be an inspired, passionate new start that's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment and happiness. Passionate start with an orange tabby. Maybe you have a new kitty. <laughs> um, and this is <laughs> the Six of Cups is so cute in this deck. Um, <clears throat> so a new beginning with a man that may have been dark in the past or is dark complected or has dark hair, but you're having a new, you're having a new, Oh, wait a minute. News or birth of a new business opportunity. I feel like it could actually be. Oh, you might found out. You might found out, find out you got pregnant and you're going to be like working. Maybe you're going to be working with this person that you love. Yeah, look at I got the three of pentacles when I said that. <laughs> okay, so, or both. They said all the above. It's all possible, they said. It's all possible. Don't, don't limit yourself. Yeah, brand new, brand new beginning, a heartfelt uh, expression as well. Somebody's coming out of hiding. Look at that. Somebody's coming out of hiding. They're overcoming defensiveness because you are the one that they know they belong with and they want that new beginning to start already major transformation and then walking away from things that aren't healthy for them anymore, getting in a more abundant mindset. They're, they're um, staring off at you at the dist in the distance kind of daydreaming about you is what has manifested this. Their heart was completely broken and they were totally insecure, but now they're ready to break out of that and go very, very quickly into commitment and or marriage. It may be a romantic uh, holiday for you after all, huh? So how, what else is the feminine? What else are the feminines going through at this time? Yeah, they feel that some of you feel you're in danger. Um, some of you, what do you want to say to those in danger? Who are those who feel they're, they said it's perceived danger, perceived. It's not real. It's an illusion. They want you to, to get that straight. Truth and fact is different than what you're imagining might happen. If it's not in your present now moment, it does not exist, period. And it can be changed. So don't, don't spend energy on anything that isn't in your now moment. Okay, so uh, perhaps you've had some kind of a perspective shift. Perhaps you've, you're looking at something differently. Um, dropping your own defenses, um, knowing that this person is your place. You have just a knowingness that this person is where you belong in this world, wanting to fight for it, even if you have to fight other people or you just want to come out of hiding. And, um, and so you're planning on how you can have your victory. You're ready. You, this is, again, that feeling of like, it's time to reap my harvest. It's time to have my victory. So either something's happened or she knows it's about to. Yes. Some communication is going to happen. Some, some boundaries as well. Um, if you're dealing with two, two, I feel some of you have three suitors or something. Um, okay. So with the, in the, with those multiple partner situations, to be decisive, be decisive and truly, truly imagine yourself completely being yourself, how you are all the time, 24 seven without changing a thing and imagine who you could be most comfortable being that with. Who you'd feel comfortable telling anything to. Yeah. So you're trying to go away from worries because you feel like, you know, this is my true love. This, this is happening. He's gotten himself through possibly a breakup or he's gotten away, <clears throat> gotten away from drama or maybe he's 
um, something with his speaking. Maybe he's ex ex expressed he wants to speak up in some way. Um, but you've really assessed the situation quite thoroughly. You've really gone through all your past relationships, everything that's led you up to this point. You know, it's a really, it can be a really introspective time to go through the holidays and you're just like, what am I doing here? You know, what am I doing here? And what am I wasting my time? Or is this a good thing to be investing in? But you have that knowingness that that person is your person. And even though you may still feel a bit ill-equipped in some ways, like you're not quite sure what you're getting yourself into. It's like, I don't know all the components of it. I don't know if I'll be able to handle it. I don't know. There's so much that you're kind of left in the dark about, but you're feeling like a giddy teenager and all excited about, about getting started. And it could just be that an offer is coming in and or marriage commitment. You've done a lot of growing and you've really connected to your heart. You've healed your heart quite a bit. Um, it feels like you've even been focused on your heart, like intentionally focusing on clearing your heart chakra or like you've had your hand on your heart and just repeated, I love you to yourself, like I recommend sometimes. Um, but it's like the, this expression of love and this commitment are coming in for you. It's going to, oh, <laughs> it's getting the, the chapter of life of you just sitting there waiting around is ending and you are going to begin a more you're going to begin a, a nice summer's day, like when you wake up and you feel like anything's possible and you feel really optimistic about, you know, it's like, oh, the sun's up. Okay, we can go play. It feels like it's playtime for the feminists. They feel like it's playtime and they really, they're ready for that new beginning. Okay, um, about that thing you need to shield yourself from. Let me feel into this for a minute. What do the feminines need to shield themselves from? Oh, could it actually be a stalker type situation? Yes, for some of you. For some of you, it could be ex-boyfriend. Oh. oh, okay. So if you had somebody from the past who you know that it wouldn't work out with because it was unhealthy, but they are like, you're my person. Like if they were like really possessive, but demanding and threatening. Um, that's the one to be aware of. That's the one to be leery of. Um, that he might come back and try to take control of you again, to try to, try to um, he might try to come, oh, they said sweet, sweet as sugar. He, he might come back. Oh, he might be one of these dark, dark haired men. Oh, and I just saw a clenched fist and, a, and, and teeth like this. But he's going to be really nice. Like he's going to put on a fake face. He or she. It could be a female for some of you. Um, but it's like the, that. It's Oh, I just got vengeance. Okay. Um, okay. Whoever this is, like you already know this is not your person. Um, so you need to listen to your instincts about that. Do not back down. Show strength and fortitude. Because you are stepping into a new experience with a much healthier person for you. They're not necessarily a perfect person, but they are perfect for you. And you might be having a new attitude and a new home soon. So you don't need to go backwards, you know? No need to go backwards to an abusive person or somebody who's a total narcissist or psychopath. You guys don't, there's no need for that. Don't settle. Don't settle because um, something very new and wonderful is about to open up for you on the horizon. Um, some of you, this is actually going to be in January. Um, yeah, somebody's getting trying to get up the courage to make you some kind of an offer or and or apologize so that they start reciprocating. It's been driving them crazy to be stuck in their heads so much and they're stepping in their power and they're actually going to take action and do something about this. They've made a judgment call that they want a new beginning with you. Hopefully it's going to be wish fulfillment for the holidays and hopefully it's what you've wished for. All you want for Christmas is them, right? <laughs> all right. So where are the masculines coming from? Let's put all these back. And, and I want to I actually want to do a light language blessing for the feminines right now that are in that situation where somebody is going to be really ticked off 
that you have moved on. That's part of it too. Is they're going to hear that you started dating someone perhaps, and they're going to be um, upset about it, threatening about it, maybe threatening to take the kids away, whatever it is. It's like God is saying right now, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. And you take control of that situation. Do not give into it in any way, shape or form. Set your strong boundaries and don't put up with that nonsense for a minute. Don't even talk to the person. Just block them. Like, don't, don't even deal with it. It's, if it's old stuff, don't deal with it. You've already, you've already gone through that. You've closed that chapter and you need to keep the door closed. Don't even bring that drama back into your life. You have one little conversation and you're going to feed that whole, you're going to, it's like a worm. You know, you give it a little bit of sugar and all of a sudden it's going to take over again or something. You know, it's like, don't give it anything. It's got to be starved completely absolutely starved don't give it money don't give it support don't give it time don't give it effort don't give it a good sit down none of it don't have anything to do with it that's what i'm feeling yeah okay it's a test it's a test you really got to listen to your instincts yeah okay so i'm going to do a blessing for the feminines right now that will help you guys be discerning and I feel like there's there are some of that when I said be discerning, it also felt like about life matters, about current events and things. Oh, there's, they said that there's like a golden nugget or a pearl at the bottom of this, but you've got to pass the test. You got to pass the test of the, the test is loving yourself. Loving yourself and, and going in, stepping into that which, that which is most authentic to who you truly are. That, that will bring you joy, joy of a child, they said. It could be joy of, like, it might be that you're having a child with the person, but it could also mean that you feel like a kid with them, you know, that you feel like you can be yourself and be like a little kid. Um, okay, so this is to see the truth in all things and to be discerning of everything, being able to really rely on your intuition and feel really good about that. Um, yeah, actions by instinct, they just said. Actions by instinct. Who is it that could be your right hand on the throne? That's what you're looking for. Somebody who can pull their weight, somebody who could totally support you, somebody you can laugh and giggle with, somebody who, you know, can say they're sorry. All of that. They don't have to be perfect. Again, they don't have to be perfect because so many masculines put so much pressure on themselves to be perfect or to have a bunch of money. It's not about any of that. It's just about both of you being sincere with each other and honest with each other and having integrity. If this does not describe your person, then it's probably the other one. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at where the masculines are at. I just saw butterflies and ladybugs and rainbow. Now, all of those are like about, you know, blessings to come. Transformation, a bright future. And being blessed, having blessings come. And they all kind of feel like springtime almost, right? Or they all involve sunshine. So someone coming out of hiding into the, into the well, I was going to say spotlight, but I, but I meant like coming out of hiding and being seen after a time of hibernation almost. Um, I, some of you are actually getting married i saw the word wedding some of you are getting married um around christmas a surprise wedding 
Interesting. Oh, look at he's feeling he's he or she is feeling giddy and excited as well for this new beginning. Ah, you find okay. Looks like he finally feels like he's wow. It, it, I think guilt held him back for a long time. Guilt, guilt, guilt over lovers, guilt over what he did to you regarding another person, a third party, or even um, you know maybe holding things up with the karmic. Or holding things up because of some kind of decision that they made that kind of went the opposite direction of you. Like maybe they moved somewhere where you weren't, or maybe they, you know, took a job that took them away from you, or maybe they chose their work over you. Um, maybe they chose their to be stay with the karmic they were with because it would be best for the children. And now they realize that was a huge mistake. Um yeah, some of these, yeah, they, whatever decision that they made that really put a huge wedge between you guys at some point, it's like, now I feel like them taking a magic wand and going whoop, toward that, that wedge and it's poof, gone. Never to return, they just said, never to return. Good. And it's because they started to value themselves. They, they, they went inside for inner wisdom and they cultivated self-esteem, self-worth, and they thought, you know what, she's, she's my light. She's the light of my life. And I want that new passionate beginning with her, with that fiery woman, that fiery, fiery, intuitive woman who knows how to enjoy the finer things of life. It's like this, she's sitting on, oh, she's got the magic wand. Maybe he took her magic wand to make the wedge poof. <laughs> so maybe, maybe it's, she gave him the words or the wisdom yeah, to believe in himself so that he could finally get rid of, like, defeat the demon, defeat the, de defeat the dark side, defeat their dark side. You help them defeat their dark side. You help them get through the darkest, uh, darkest times of, of their lives. Um, but, look, she's really, in, uh, she's in a field of sunflowers. It's very luxurious, and it looks like a very comfortable pillow she's on. So she knows how to take good care of herself. And she, you know, she, 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 yeah. She's abundant. And he really just, he, he wants her optimism. He wants her positivity. He needs it. Oh, she infected him. She infected him with her, like, it's kind of like you, you, like somebody says, oh, I just got a puppy and you're like resistant to it. So you're like, mm, I'm not even going to smile. The puppy can come out here and do whatever it wants. And I'm just going to, mm -hmm. and it's just like, she, she got in his system. Her positivity got in his blood veins and it felt really good. And he had to have more. He's like ad addicted to her. He's addicted to her, but in a really good way, in the way that it ought to be. Doesn't mean he's been paying attention to you, feminines. It means that he can't get enough of you, and he will He will ultimately have you, is what I'm feeling. He will ultimately have you. Oh, look at that, the sun coming out. The sun will come out tomorrow. It, it, once, he's, once he's realized what he's worth and realized his value, He's going to make that judgment call and he's going to talk to you, even if he's not sure what to say, even if he feels really, really, really uncomfortable, he has to speak his truth. He has to apologize. He knows he has to apologize and he's got to quit. He, he has to quit putting you up on a pedestal and he has to just address the situation, go outside of his comfort zone and talk. And, and <laughs> I just saw like, and maybe he's watching you even on YouTube or like maybe he's read your book or he's watched your movie or he's like, there's something about like how he's like, Oh, you know, <laughs> and now he wants to take that you being like this dream of his, like kind of a fantasy of his on screen or in the book or like it's somehow it seemed kind of outside of his world. And now he's wanting to bring it in his home. Oh, he wants it sitting next to him. 
he wants it talking to him. And I'm saying it, but you know, it's like, he's treated you almost like an object that way. And he's just, he's ignored you, but ultimately he's wanting this thing to come together and for you guys to collaborate on how to go to the next level with one another. You may have to fight off other people's opinions. You may have to have people or things or whatever, a lot of hurdles to overcome, but it, this thing will come together if you guys keep an abundant mindset and keep really receptive and keep solution oriented, keep loving yourself and keep letting that love of, for yourself pour into that other person and work together as a team. And you will, you will be successful in whatever you guys are facing or will be facing. You have a whole new passionate beginning opening up for you. So you're going from that seven of cups energy to the six of cups. So it's not, it's not going backwards. It's going from all this daydreaming into, wow, you're in my reality, drinking out of my cup. You're accepting my love. You're accepting my love and it is on. It is on with us. So I think he was probably insecure about sharing his feelings with you because you, you do mean so much to him. Maybe he was a little afraid you might even reject him or not like him, you know, once you guys got together and once he revealed some things to you. Um, but you're going to have prosperity and abundance. You're going to have the bread of life together and you're going to be climbing the ladder to success. So it's time to act, be the brave lion and act, masculines. A goal or be goal oriented. Hit that target. You're going to feel, be so glad you did. What's going to happen when they hit the target? What's going to happen when they hit the target? <laughs> the end of a difficult period. A proposal. <laughs> An offer for either like commitment um, or to work together or both, probably both. But, you know, it's, it's like ye, both of you have done so much learning and growing, forgiving, um, surrender. I don't have, you know, the poor feminists. I don't have all the answers, but I have to just keep choosing to trust in this path and that faith is bringing you an offer. So that's what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, all right, I feel like grabbing a tea leaf card. Okay. Huh. <laughs> God. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Okay. All right. <clears throat> A chain of events that will affect your life. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths are opening up. A position of authority. Didn't I just say he's going to take, he's going to take, the, like, choose the person who could take the throne next to you? Um, and you'll be receiving a gift or giving a precious gift, a diamond. <laughs> so if you need any help, just let me know. Just go to www.amysatori.com forward slash services. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. If you need it, reach out, to, reach out, reach out. All right, I guess that's good. Um, enjoy your holidays. Much love to you. Send you big, big, cuddly, warm cuddles and hugs. <laughs> um, and I wish you well. I hope you are able to reunite with your loved one this holiday, but be sure that you take care of yourself and don't expect too much just in case. Um, but always keep it positive. And as long as you are staying present in the moment, you are in your power. You can hear things clearly. You can get good guidance from that space. Um, and just, just take really good care of yourself and you make yourself happy. You be happy despite any circumstances. 
But congratulations to those of you who are coming into union and or having that surprise wedding in December. Um, definitely reach out and let me know so I can share it with the other feminines and encourage everybody. All right, you guys. Talk to you later. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Also, feel free to join me at patreon.com forward slash Amy Satori, where I post monthly energy readings, pick a decks, and other goodies for members only, including discounts for readings and being entered to win a free reading at the end of the year. Memberships start as low as $5.55 a month. Sometimes I even put my free collective love readings on Patreon first before uploading them here to YouTube. You can check the description of my videos for the most up-to-date information.